the skin responds differently to certain ingredients like tretinoin cream or retinol or adapalene i have been using tretinoin for like around five years already and i also introduced tretinoin to some of my family members so i know a lot about tretinoin and one of the big issue or one of the big problem with tretinoin is that it can cause a lot of irritation and when it causes irritation on our dark skin it means it's going to lead to hyperpigmentation so i'm going to give you like a guide on how to use tretinoin effectively without having the side effect of hyperpigmentation the first thing is to go slow you need to start slow i know sometimes we want to have uh, immediately like result we want to have fast result and we think that by using the product all the time every time is going to give us a fast result some of the things that you need to understand about retinoin cream or retinol compared to other type of product is that it's better at the long run shortcut or short life cycle with retinoin is not going to give you the best result so think about retinoin something that you need to see result at a long run so the slower tretinoin works on your skin the better you're gonna have the result and the better your skin is going to look that's how tretinoin works start slow also means that you are going to use maybe once per week to start so when you start you will need to use that once a week for like one month or two months the goal is to help your skin get accustomed to the tretinoin okay and then after one month or after two months you are going to add a second time so it's going to be twice per week and that's it that's it that for all the time you are going to use your tretinoin cream or your retinol is going to be only twice per week or the most three times per week but i do not recommend three times per week i am recommending only two times per week the second thing is to use a low percentage here i'm talking about if you choose to use use tretinoin cream or retinoid cream those cream are like prescription they are like a medication so you need to use a low percentage and the maximum that i recommend to use is 0.02 25 percent if you can find less if you can use less than that it's also a good thing the goal is to avoid having irritation aka hyperpigmentation when you use 0.05 percent like i did or like a lot of people are doing right now the issue that it caused irritation it did irritate my face a lot of people in my family using uh, tretinoin cream 0.05 percent they notice that their face is darker than before and the face is darker because of the irritation like i told you guys when you have irritation from tretinoin it's gonna make your face really sensitive to the sun and that's gonna lead to hyperpigmentation so using a low percentage is also going to decrease that side effect it's going to help you avoid that side effect of having a dark face so if you choose to use a prescription tretinoin cream or retinoid cream i would say to choose the 0.025 percent maximum and to use that once per week at the beginning for one month and then you're going to start using this like twice per week the following month and from month to month to month now if you choose to use like retinol or retinadeide which is the little brother and the little sister of the tretinoin cream you can use those things two times or three times per week but again when you start with those products i recommend to use it once per week for the first month to get your skin accustomed to them so this is my recommendation guys if you have a normal skin and your skin is a skin that is not that sensitive you can use tretinoin cream the prescription or retinoid cream you can use that once per week only and two times per week you can use your retinol or your retinadeide so it means that during the week you are going to 
use your vitamin A three times per week. For people with really, really sensitive skin, like your face is really, really sensitive, you can tolerate a certain product. I would say to only choose retin at the eye or to use a retinol. But I would say choose a retin at the eye because retin at the eye has been proven to be very, very gentle on the skin. So use that and you can use that twice per week or you can use that three times per week. It's up to you. The third tip is to only use that at night night only at night guys you don't need to use that in the morning even if your retinol is saying that you can use that in the morning don't use that in the morning only use that at night my fourth tip is going to be to always use a sunscreen in the morning and to also use a hat in the morning the sunscreen is going to be beneficial it's, it really doesn't matter if you use a chemical sunscreen or a mineral sunscreen it really doesn't matter choose the best sunscreen you can the one that you like to wear the one that you can wear every day the one that you can reapply every day with no issue just choose that one and use if you want to watch a video about my best recommendation on sunscreen i'm going to put the link of those video in the description just below or up there go and watch those video and choose one of those sunscreens that i recommend into your routine the second thing is to add a hat you always need to wear like a white um, hat when you go outside just because it's also going to add the protection onto your skin a sunscreen is not really by itself it's, it's not enough that's why adding a hat into your daily routine into your lifestyle is going to also be beneficial you can try to find some of the best at out there some stylish ad that you can incorporate into your lifestyle because i feel like it's very necessary and wearing hat has been a big game changer in my skincare routine now this part is very important you need to really pay attention to what i'm going to tell you right now guys when you use a vitamin a it doesn't matter tretinoin cream adapalene retinol retin eye please do not mix this with those specific product i'm going to tell you right now don't mix it with azelaic acid don't mix it with benzoin peroxide don't mix it with salicylic acid lactic acid glycolic acid all those acid don't mix it with vitamin c do not use those products at the same time that you are using your vitamin a it's really important otherwise they are going to mess up your skin barrier if they mess up your skin barrier it means it's going to lead to irritation and again, irritation equals hyperpigmentation. It's going to darken your face and that's not the goal. So try not to mix those products with your vitamin A. 